Uh, I don't want to make this video, but I feel like I have to, or I need to at least. But I got my dog here, right here. Say hi. Say hi. She's here for her support, I guess. But, but anyway, uh, so, uh, this Me Too movement is going on, and it shows no signs of slowing down. In fact, uh, uh, it's, it looks like it's getting stronger as time goes on, and there's also the the uh, times up uh, uh, that that's going on too, alongside. Yeah, so this is my me too story, except uh, it's not about me getting sexually harassed. It's about me sexually harassing other women. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, man, yeah, so, yeah, so, this is, it's, it's just, it's hard, cause, I, I reg seriously regret doing these things that I'll talk about, and it's, it's not a reflection of who I am, and I, I wish I hadn't have done these things. Yes, yeah. I know, I know. Mm-hmm. It was wrong of me. Yeah, anyway, I kind of wanted to get this video out around the same time as the Oscars. But, yeah, that didn't happen. I, I was putting it off for so long, and, yeah, I, I only watched some of the Oscars, uh, but it felt like they played it way too safe and didn't, didn't, uh, they kind of skirted around, well, I don't, I don't know if I should have said skirted, but no, they didn't address the Me Too movement and Time's Up movement head on, kind of danced around it, and, and Rotten Tomatoes actually rated the Oscars because they rate award shows now. <laughs> I, yeah, that that's new, but... Yeah, they basically said the same thing. The host, Jimmy Kimmel, I really don't like him. Uh, I, I just think he's unfunny and... and... kind of... mean, actually. Because... he has this... prank. Uh, he has parents do on their kids. He tell your kids I ate all of their Halloween candy. I think he does it every year and then he shows videos of kids crying because their parents told them they ate all their Halloween candy and and so you see these videos of all the kids crying and yeah it's it's mean to laugh at crying kids you know you know maybe they, you should have a another prank he does at Christmas time and have parents tell their kids that they accidentally killed Santa Claus and during the Oscars Jimmy Kimmel showed that he supported women by having 
a woman be his jet ski model and not say anything. I'm gonna go ahead and assume you know why that's stupid and move on. Can you tell I'm stalling? Yeah, because I, I don't want to talk about what I did. But I need to. I need to because I've been hearing so many Me Too stories and some of them have brought back memories from what I did because they're kind of similar. I mean, they're not on the level of Harvey Weinstein or or uh, Kevin Spacey or uh, Louis C.K., but they're still bad. Still qualifies as sexual harassment. Actually, the funny thing is that uh, Kevin Spacey's brother actually lives in Idaho, and uh, he works as a limous limousine driver and dresses up as Rod Stewart. Which is normal in Idaho. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I actually got to see him speak. Yeah, he's written this uh, self-published book about his life and um, and about Kevin Spacey's life. Yeah, it's, it's available on Amazon, I think, but he went into some really graphic details about uh, the abuse he suffered from his, his, his dad, and that really has scarred him for, for his whole life, and he's just now getting past it. Yeah, he talked about, uh, his brother Kevin Spacey and their relationship, which is strained, but he's open to talking to Kevin and yeah but yeah but the whole his whole discussion really got me thinking about my life and about these things that I've done that I <laughs> that I keep not talking about but yeah with this me too movement I think it's really important for men to support not just this movement but women in general and be good allies and part of being a good ally is owning up to what you did and and uh, apologizing for it so that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there's no reason I did these things. Maybe it was puberty, maybe it was hormones, or just my own stupidity, but it was wrong and I shouldn't have done it. Morgan Spurlock also did the same thing. Uh, that he's a famous documentary director and he just came out one day and released a statement about things that he did and, and he uh, did this before any allegations were leveled against him but yeah so here i go uh the first time yeah there's more than one uh it was it was when i was in junior high uh yeah there's this gal also in seventh grade and uh, I would just purposely walk by her with my hands at my side and brush up against her butt my, with my hand. I just started doing that on my own. I, I don't know, I just, maybe it was just because I thought she had a great ass or something, but yeah, that was wrong and and I, I did it multiple times just at, at uh, any time I saw her in the hallway I would purposely walk 
to her and up against her and brush my hand against her butt. And I've heard stories like this uh, from other women uh, when they were sexually harassed on the on their jobs. Her complaint detailed several instances of inappropriate physical contact. Once he rubbed her butt. Yeah, yeah, it just makes me sick. And I did that. And actually, uh, one time I did it, uh, and, uh, I did it really obviously. And she was like in the corner, uh, of a classroom, and I, did it purposely, and then she just turns around to me and says, would you please stop doing that? Which, yeah, that's the right thing to do. She, she, yeah, she did, did what you're supposed to do, I, I say, and, and fortunately I was, smart enough to uh, take her uh, take what she says and and stop doing it realize that no means no so I stopped doing that when she told me not to so I wish I hadn't have done this stuff to her but I'm glad that I did stop when she said stop and not continue it. I wrote what I'm going to say on paper so I, I don't forget anything. The next time was also in seventh grade and I was in this, uh, this like computer robotics class, uh, this was during the early 2000s, so... And during the class, we made these little cars out of Legos, and then they had little motors on it and sensors, and you could uh, program uh, the motors and sensors to get the car to do things like drive through a maze or or uh, race other cars and and one day we actually had a competition uh, with another school and and so we sir so, so during this class uh, we were in a, in the gym and and all the the students were in different groups and each group built one car and my group was currently waiting uh, to compete and uh, and I remember there's no chairs in the gym so I was just sitting down on the floor uh, by, like by myself against the wall in the corner of the gyms and and uh, these two gals walk by uh, and they're just talking to each other and probably didn't even notice me but I noticed them and there's uh, one of the, the gals had a skirt on and you know for whatever reason uh when they stopped near me i just like kind of laid back on my back and slithered over and then just just looked up her skirt god damn seriously why did i do that why why i don't know i don't know but anyway, yeah, so, I know, you don't have to look at me, I know, I know, <laughs> I know I shouldn't have done that.
But yeah, there's just a couple seconds, and then I slithered back, and uh, neither of them noticed me. So I saw her underwear, and afterwards I'm like, what was the point of that? She's wearing underwear. Everyone wears underwear, so. <laughs> I don't know. But was it just curiosity on my part? Or... Yeah, but that's the. Yeah, so. I... <laughs> it was just. I guess I was just like. Uh, there is no point to that, so I never did it again, because, because, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, I was, there's no reason for it, and I do remember f feeling kind of guilty and dirty after I did it, so, never did it again. I do want to apologize directly to these women. I, but this was like 15 years ago, so I don't remember who they are or, or how I can reach them. The, the, uh, the second, the second gal, she might have even been from the other school that came for the competition, so so, yeah, if she was, then I'll never find her. And I don't think she even noticed me, so she doesn't know I sexually harassed her. And, and yeah, yeah, she, she can't reach out to me for an apology, and I, I can't reach out to her to give her an apology. I guess this is my apology. So I just want to say sorry to them, wherever, wherever they are. Yeah. Also, looking back on this, I remember that right around this time I had discovered internet porn. I really discovered it just by typing uh, butts and boobs into the to uh, Google search and then I got like 50 million results and and, and I, I just clicked on some of them and yeah yeah and that's how I discovered internet porn I don't know maybe, maybe that had something to do with my decisions but who knows? And the final time is probably the worst and longest and weirdest. Uh, I'll explain. So this was in the ninth grade and I was taking a different class uh, taught by the same teacher who uh, taught the seventh grade robotics class. Uh, he, he taught different elective classes for all the grades in junior high. And during his class, I started getting picked on by other boys. Uh, I, I, do, I don't say bullied because I've heard other stories about kids getting driven to suicide by their bully bullies uh but mine was never that bad so so i yeah i was picked on so guys would ask me if this uh this female student in our grade was hot or not and then they would make fun of me uh, for my answers, like if I just said I thought she was hot, they would be like, "You, you, you're gross." Even though I didn't know the names of half of the the 
the people they were naming, so I, I was just saying whatever. But anyway, one day, uh, they asked me if I thought this, uh, this female student in our class was hot or not. And, uh, my notes. <laughs> and she was the only, uh, the, the only woman in the class, which is probably why she, she was singled out uh, by the the guys. Anyway, when the guy comes up to me and asks me if if yeah, you know, I think she's hot. I I look at him and behind him I can see her looking at me, and I I can tell that she's listening in. So you know I'm. I'm too nice to say that I think she's not pretty, so I say, yeah, she's hot. And then the guy says to her, did you hear that? Did you hear that? And she smiled and said yes. But then after this, they uh, start having me uh, go up to her and like say, all sorts of immature sexual innuendo and stuff like that. And, and then this escalated to touching her, like putting my hand on her leg or arm or even hugging her. Uh, it, even if she didn't want it. And, if, and I should say that if I said no, to the, the boys who were picking on me, if, if I said, no, I'm not going to do that, they would give me a purple nurple. Where they, you know, you twist the nipple all the way around. So yeah, I would get sexually harassed if I didn't sexually harass another woman. And, and, and I did want this to stop, but I wasn't sure how to get it to stop. It continued for a while and kept escalating. They would actually have me go up to other guys and hug them, and they would think it was so funny because it's, it's gay. Haha, <laughs> so funny. No, no, not stupid is what it is. And this actually ended when it spilled over into my history class, uh, some of the, the, uh, guys who were picking on me were also in my history class. One day they decided to do the same stuff to me as they were doing in the, the robotics class. There were other gals in the history class and, and yeah, <laughs> yeah, they weren't taking uh, any of my shit. No, no, one, I remember one got so angry that, that she almost started yelling at me and kind of got in my face. Yeah, she, she wasn't going to put up with it and, and was trying to get it to stop, so. as what, what, if you have to do it, you, you gotta do it, so. But anyway, uh, my history teacher noticed this and he, he calls me over to his desk and talks to me one on one about what's, what, what is happening. And when I was a kid, I'm, I wasn't used to getting into trouble or to having one on one talks with, with teachers. So I didn't really say much or just spoke vaguely, like just something uh, that they had me do, and the teacher's just like, don't do it again, just stop doing it. And, and I remember he also talked to the other guys, uh, one on one. And then actually did, uh, get better after that.
in my robotics class. And th- that that teacher, uh, he was really laid back and, uh, yeah, his message was just basically ignore uh, what's going on unless there's an emergency. He, yeah, he, he didn't pay a whole lot of attention to what uh, the, the class was doing when uh, uh, we, were, we were on our own. Yeah, also during the same time uh, we had a substitute teacher for a week in the robotics class and during that time the guys who were picking on me they uh, downloaded porn to uh, all of the computers, uh, almost all of the computers in the class. They they went to Google Images and just uh, found porn images and made the the porn the desktop image. So it was the first thing you see. You, you turn on the computer, but the whole class got in trouble for this, and the, the vice principal came and took the class to the cafeteria, where it served as detention for all the students during during uh, class time. But when the robotics teacher came back, uh, he just told the class. Uh, I had to spend two hours yesterday cleaning all the computers and getting the porn off. So don't do it again. That's that's all he said about it. So I don't think he would have done uh, anything to stop what I was going through it if I had told him about it. Really what stopped all of this for good was just the school year ending and then uh, the guys forgot about me over summer so that so that gal I do remember her and I do know her name and I do want to apologize her face to face but I'm not sure if I can find her she was on Facebook I was friends with her there but I looked recently and I couldn't find her. I think she deleted her page. I do have my high school reunion coming up soon. I don't remember if she went to my high school. Because this all happened in junior high before high schools. And it is entirely possible that she went to a different high school than me. Because I, I don't remember her in high school. I'll have to look in my high school yearbooks to make sure. But yeah, yeah, it is kind of amazing that I didn't get into more trouble for doing all of these things. I did, however, get into trouble for something I didn't do. Uh, th- this was in high school and the vice principal calls me into her office one, one day and and explains to me that I've been making uh, another student uncom- uncomfortable by staring at her. And I'm just like, what? I have? I don't know what you're talking about. But it, it happened on the school bus. Uh, yeah, I, I was taking this off-campus uh, uh, elective class and I had to take a school bus to get to where the class was being held and and there were other kids on the bus too uh, not enough to fill the bus up uh, and I remember the bus driver just let us sit wherever we want and and stop licking me 
And yeah, yeah. So what basically happened is that the kids did pick their own seats, including me, but we ended up just sitting in the same seat uh, every bus ride. So we kind of picked our own assigned seats. And I, I just picked the seat kind of close to the back. And she picked the seat across from me. And I would uh, have my iPod in, uh, l listening to music and stuff. And and I would see, I would lean up against the window, with my back to it, and put my feet on the seat and listen to the music. I would just just zone out. So I, I guess I was looking straight at her when I was zoning out. Uh, and yeah, sometimes I would even fall asleep, but I guess she thought I was looking at her. Uh, and staring at her. And so, yeah, so she went to the vice principal and told them about what, what was happening, which, yeah, again, that's the right thing to do. That's actually what I should have done in junior high. But yeah, yeah, I just explained to the vice principal that I didn't mean it and uh, I wasn't looking at her intentionally, just looking wherever, daydreaming. So yeah, and I just ended up choosing a different seat where I wasn't across from her. And I wouldn't be looking at her, so holy cow, I am I'm going to run out of space on this camera. I've been talking for way longer than I thought. <laughs> but yeah, so before my camera runs out of storage, um, I regret all of the things I did in these stories. I wish I could take them back. I'm sorry to uh, all the, the women I did sexually harass and yeah yeah I'm, I haven't done those things since and I will never do anything like those things again yeah so I'm sorry and I will never sexually harass anyone again